Welcome to the pre-match press conference for the Intercontinental Cup match between India and Syria. We have with us head coach of India, Manolo Marquez, and player Jay Gupta with us. Uh, so, against Mauritius, you said that the team was very new and with just two, two training sessions, you said that a lot of work needs to be done. So, from that time till uh, to this day, where we where had some more training sessions, do you personally feel that, you know, this time has helped and where do you think the team is in a better shape to give a fight to Syria and then what the team played against Mauritius? Every, every team needs time to, to train. Uh, obviously, it's not enough, but we will try and I think that we will play a good game. Uh, but obviously, we have a... This is the problem in all the national teams in the world, except when you have a training camp, long training camp. The time for training sessions is, is short, then, but it's the, the normal situation in a national team. We knew about this, and it's uh, about to, we, we need to be competitive, and uh, obviously, uh, we are trying to understand what we want to do uh, as soon as possible. Just a small follow-up. As far as team news is concerned, is everyone fit for tomorrow's? Yes, 25 players are available. Uh, so, coach, first of all, uh, happy birthday. Thank you. And uh, I wish you success uh, in the coming years uh, with the national team and with FC World. Thank you. And uh, my question is, uh, I mean, straight away come to the point, uh, how confident are you lifting the trophy tomorrow in front of the home crowd? Confident is not the correct word. I think that we 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 hope we expect to to play a good game. Obviously, we want to to win the tournament. But if you ask me, I prefer to play a good game than uh, to win the tournament. I don't want to win the tournament, winning 1-0, scoring with the hand. Uh, I want uh, that, that in this moment the team needs to to understand our ideas and we need to to try to play better because finally it's not about win or lose, it's all that you need to arrive to a, 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 a one style of play and this is that uh, we are focusing in this aspect. Obviously when you win the confidence uh, grows and then uh, it's easier, no? but finally now it's about that that we believe that we can compete against uh, all the teams. And the follow-up question is, uh, how important is tomorrow's game in building your future team? Uh, in, in, in building your future team under your management? <laughs> Again, uh, yes, to win. Victories are confidence. Uh, but finally it's uh, about, you need to arrive to play one concrete style where you in the next time, in the next FIFA window, in the other, in every FIFA window, the team has to know what we want to do. Then, in some games, like the other day, no, I told you before the game, with two training sessions, we can win draw or lose, but will be because, let's see. But obviously, when you have time to, to work, the, the chances are are more possibilities and are more for, for the success, no? And then we need to no, we need to no, not improve. We need to adapt uh, what we want to do. It's not the, uh, obviously we want to win, yes. But the most important in this moment is to check that the that the guys are understanding what what we want to do. Thank you. Yes. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Uh, we need to win the, the match tomorrow at any cost. So, uh, last match we created a lot of chances, but uh, the finishing was somewhat, uh, there was problem. So, how are you planning, how are you, what are you doing about that? Well, a lot of chances, I, I don't know if we had a lot of chances, but... Uh, no, we play more or less with order, it's true. But finally, I think that the thing that we need 
is a, a better positioning in the pitch, to arrive with more players in the box, to in some moments shoot from outside the box, uh, to be more clinical in the last action, a lot of things. It's, it's true that we are still in India, it is still in precision. Uh, most of the players in Syria are already playing in, in, in different championships. Uh, but finally, it's about us. Again, we need to to work, hard work. Uh, they are training very good. This is the reality. And, uh, and we are uh, expecting a, a good game. We, uh, I think we, we need to be positive. A question to Ted. Since you have flourished very well under Coach Marcus at FC Goa, so personally, how much do you think that the rest of the team will flourish under his philosophy? And how much time do they need to take to adapt under his particular style of football? Uh, I mean, to first answer that, I think uh, a lot of other players have already been under Coach Munoro for a longer time, so they would know, you know, how to adapt to him. But uh, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, the, the atmosphere in the dressing room is really, really positive. Uh, thanks to the AIFF who uh, chose Coach Munalo, we feel uh, very positive towards what he wants from us and as long as we understand what he wants and like a lot of the other players who have already played under him would know, uh, we, we do believe in what uh, he, he asks and as long as we do that, we will know we will go into the right direction. So the dressing room is very happy that you know we have somebody that we can believe in. Yeah. Good morning, coach, uh, and good morning, Mr. J. Uh, just a couple of questions: one to one to yourself, and one to Mr. J. Uh, firstly, you belated happy birthday, coach. Uh, thank you again for all the memories you've given to Indian football fans, and from the bottom of our heart, we, we hope to see you success uh, as a successful state. Uh, coming straight to the question: uh, so obviously we need a win tomorrow. Uh, uh, India has been struggling for goals. Uh, it's not a, it's not something not known. So, how confident are you in the last one week, uh, considering you've had more time uh, to to get that elusive goal? And uh, also, uh, in terms of the physical fitness of the players, are they in how how much of a better shape are they compared to the game against uh, our issues? This is again practically I, I can reply always the, the same rounds. Uh, physically, they are okay, but again, uh, but this is in all the world. Uh, when you are in precision, obviously, you are not still in your best moment physically. In fact, the other day, some players finish the game very, very tired, and uh, but this this is normal. One very good thing was that uh, all 25 players are available for tomorrow. And, uh, and that's all. Uh, again, the other thing is uh, the same. We need to enter in the pitch. We know that Syria is a good opponent, good team, with a, a lot of good players. But we need to to be confident in our work. And obviously, it's not not too much time, uh, less than one week, because it's not only about oh no, now you had uh, six days. But the six days, the plus one uh, after the game, uh, you practically you cannot train. Only you can train with the players who didn't play. Uh, but uh, again, we are we are very. When I say we are, I speak as a staff. Uh, we are very satisfied how they are working. Uh, we are very happy in. The, in the attitude that, that they have in, the, in every training session and let's see, I think that we will have uh, our options for sure tomorrow to, to win the game. Last question would be uh, to Mr. J. Uh, so uh, you've obviously had a stellar season uh, under Manolo at FC Goa and the coach recently had said that uh, you're a centre-back as well. So personally to yourself, which position would you most prefer playing? Would it be on the left or would you who are you most comfortable playing in the centre as well? Uh, so, just to say naturally I'm a centre-back, I've been uh, learning uh, the centre-back position since I've uh, started playing football. Uh, but I think more 
more than what I want to play, it's more about what in which position I can help my team and, and the coach. Uh, but uh, uh, last season I had to play left back, obviously because the coach wanted. Uh, but uh, it all depends on uh, where I can help the team most. So, and that's where uh, you know the team flourishes, and then I'm happy playing wherever you know uh, that I can do my best.